Hello, today we're going to be doing a little Kerbal Space Program video. We're going to go up to do a orbital rendezvous with two crafts. We're going to head over to the VAB to get building. Um, you'll notice on this one I'm going to use the 2.5 meter parts. That's just for stability reasons. The skinnier your craft is, the more you have to worry about drag and stuff up top. This one's just going to be a real basic rocket. We're going to use this Rockamax ad adapter to get the uh, shield a docking port on there so I don't have to use a fairing or anything. Honestly, I probably could have got away with not using anything. Just using a regular docking port. We'll add some stabilizing things, the SAS, the RCS, and just a um, a battery bank, some engines, and the second stage. This is only going to be a two-stage rocket. There's no parachute or anything. Depending on what you're wanting to do, you might add a parachute. This, of course, is a remote vehicle. I'm going to add some solar panels just because, you know, Depending on when you launch this, it could be up in orbit for a while before it rendezvous, before it completes its mission. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and launch right here. Uh, pretty simple. I just pitch over a little bit, then set my uh, marker to prograde. And we're just going to follow that prograde marker until we get to about 100,000 meters or 100 kilometers in our apoapsis. Pretty standard. Um, we don't really want... To go for um, th this is still le a low carbon orbit. You can see I'm messing with my flight engineer there. Great mod, I recommend using it. We're still going to be in low carbon orbit, but as you'll see in a minute, it kind of matters that the orbits of the two crafts are very slightly different. One should be higher than the other, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Anyhow, we're going to get up to this maneuver mode to circularize our orbit. I end up doing a couple circularization burns on this one just because I want it to be kind of close to 100 or 101. Um, thousand hundred one K but anyhow so once we get up here I'm just gonna light the engines I'm not actually time warping right now but I do have the the footage sped up a little bit so that's why it's going so fast but normally this would be just a little bit slower so once we finish that burn you'll see I'm gonna go ahead and work on recircularizing it by heading to the apoapsis to raise that periapsis up to over a hundred not a huge deal. This is this is pretty standard KSP stuff. A good little trick is to get get that apoapsis marker. Um, you know, figure out how many seconds you are behind it, and then go for it. So here's the second craft I'm going to be launching. I'm going to wait until that first craft is right about directly over the KSC. And honestly, I probably should have waited till it was just a little bit behind it. But as you'll see, it is better to wait too long than too little. Because we're going to be putting this craft in a lower orbit. The thing about lower orbits is they actually go faster than the higher orbits. So you will spin around the planet faster at a lower orbit than you would at a higher orbit. So by going into a lower orbit, if we're a little behind where we need to be as far as the um, probe we're on reviewing with, it's not that big of a deal because within an orbit or two we can line up this, this um, what we're trying to do, this matching game. So we're just going to send this into orbit right here. It's not a huge deal. Again, it's the same concept. We're going to launch it. It's going to go. Um, and we're going to circularize around 80 this time. So we're getting close up there. I'm going to go ahead and make the maneuver node. This is all pretty standard KSP stuff. If you've been playing KSP, this might be something you're used to. I thought about maybe making the intersection straight out of launch, but I decided against it just because we'd be a little too far apart. You really want to be within, you know, at least 50 kilometers on our intersection point. Um, but for most things, being within, being you want to be as close as you can. I choose. I usually go within five kilometers if I can swing it, and you'll see why. the The farther you are at your intersection point, the more trouble you're going to have. Um, fighting with the craft. It's just the nature of the beast with these kind of things. Um, so, right here I'm going to start my circularization burn. And I'm just going to make sure that I get um, I get as close as I can to the um, 80 by 80 kind of orbit that I want. It's just going to kind of depend. It's not really a huge deal, but we're, we're going to want this, this orbit to be lower than our final orbit. That's just how it needs to be, and I'll show you why. You'll notice that our orbit is lower than our craft that we're trying to get to, and that means that we're actually going to go faster. So by the time we get all the way back to the same point in our orbit, 
um, we will be roughly right beneath it. So we're going to start our um, our interception burn on the other side of the planet and that's going to raise us up and the way this works out is if you just use your maneuver node you can line this up and get the intersection correctly. In a minute I'm going to turn off the um, I'm going to turn off the maneuver once I get you know more than halfway through it or so and that's just so that I can see the actual intersection point rather than the um, rather than the plan intersection point and once we get to about you know whenever it starts slowing down roughly that's whenever we will um, end the burn now we're just gonna play back and forth with it so we're gonna get close to the target we're gonna set our nav ball mode to target this is gonna show us our velocity relative to the target the thing about orbits is if you're in the same orbit you will have the same velocity as the whatever else is in that orbit that's the way orbits work so by zeroing our orbit in we're actually by zeroing our velocity we're actually getting closer and closer to the orbit that it's in and so then what I did is I pointed towards the craft and then I just lit our thruster so we're gonna head towards the craft we're actually if we point straight at it now with the way the orbits work remember like I said we're lower we're actually gonna end up in ahead of it so we're just gonna get close and then I'm gonna re-zero our relative velocity again and the closer and closer we get the closer and closer our orbits are gonna get and eventually we're gonna intersect so right here what I'm doing is I'm zeroing it again and we're gonna pass pretty much within about t less than five meters of each other here in a second but I opened up the um, docking port I just switched to the other vehicle and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to zero out our velocity um, it doesn't matter which vehicle I do that from but I needed to switch the um, switch the open the shield to open and set the other craft as our target I'm gonna go ahead and just zero out the velocity real quick and then I'm gonna, I should have done this to begin with. I'm going to switch back to the other craft here in just a second. And I'm going to, well, I'm going to wait till we pass it so I don't actually swing over and hit it. And I'm going to set the docking port as the target, not just the craft. You really want to set the docking port because that's what we're aiming for. So this is going to swing towards the target right here. And then we're going to switch to the other craft, set that as a target, do the same thing. Ladder engines, honestly, you should probably do this with ICS. I just did it with a brief hit from the engines. Since I did it from the engines, I wouldn't go over one meter per second, honestly, if you can avoid it, because that rotation could impart a problem. But now we're done. That's all there is to it. It's an easy thing to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and like and subscribe. Like I said, I like doing these, and I hope you have fun.